Hey guys, welcome back to the Tiger Morning Show. Our video today is on how to make pumpkin pie, which is a great activity that you can do during winter break. So let's get into it. Good morning, afternoon, night, or day, whatever time you're watching this. This is Gigi Searle and Alexis Heckman reporting to you for Burlington Tiger News, episode one of Pie Party. Today we'll be making a delicious pumpkin pie fresh for your holiday season. This dessert is perfect for rain or shine. Personally, I would even eat this on a hot summer day. But anyways, let's start by mixing the eggs. You're going to need four normal sized eggs for this recipe. We use chicken and basically that helps form bonds inside the recipe with all the ingredients. Now we're going to get our dry ingredients ready. You will need 3 fourths cup of granulated sugar, 1 teaspoon salt, 2 teaspoons of ground cinnamon, 1 teaspoon of ground ginger, and last but not least, 1 half teaspoon of ground cloves. These ingredients really just give you that nice authentic autumn essence and tasty flavor in general. Now let's add our dry mixture to the beaten eggs and blend. Our next step is to add pumpkin puree. You can really get this from any grocery store. Today we're using Libby's Original Pumpkin Puree. I like it because there's a nice pumpkin pie recipe on the back which is the one that we are using right now. Now the mixture should be a pretty orangey color, perfect for fall. The final thing that we add to our pie mix is two cans of evaporated milk which makes it so creamy and gives the dessert that nice texture. You can either use a spoon to combine ingredients or an electric mixture like we're doing here. You can even use a smoothie blender if you want. Now that that's all done, you can pour your mix into two pie shells. Pie shells are sold pre-made at the store, which is really convenient, but we just made homemade pie crust out of two cups of flour, one stick of frozen butter grated with a cheese grater, and about half a cup of ice water. Once you have completed filling your pies, it's time to pop these in the oven at 425 degrees. After about 45 minutes in the oven, the pie is ready. Now it's time for the best part, a taste test. This pumpkin pie turned out pretty good. I'd rate it a 10 out of 10. No, actually more like an 11 out of 10. Thanks for watching and tune in next time for the next episode of Pie Party.